Welcome back everybody to more Skyrim here on Additional Pilots Games. And I wanted to show this, because this is something new. Uh, I was talking last time about how I played about five, 600 hours of Skyrim and still discovering stuff. And lo and behold, here I discover uh, a mammoth and dwarf and arrows, I'll take those. Um, here I discover a mammoth pinned to the wall and frozen halfway in. Like, this is, I don't know. It's impressive and also disturbing. Um, I don't know what to make of that. So, there it is. New stuff, always discovering new stuff here in Skyrim. Uh, we are on our way to Alftand, I believe is the correct one. Ooh. Those look like some ruins. Those are Dormir ruins, but are we going the right way? I think we need to get up the canyon, actually. Contracted rock joint? Uh-oh. I don't know what that does. Let's take a look at that. I think that reduces your stamina. Less effective with melee weapons. Well, guess what, guys? We've effectively found a cure for a rock joint, and that is to not use melee weapons whatsoever. So yes, the cave is actually up there. I'm going to see if we can't get up this tower somehow. Alt and ruin tower. Oh jeez, that actually scared me. <laughs> oh man, that, I don't know, like I should be expecting that. We're, we're here in a Dwemer ruin. I should be expecting these surprises, but no. Somehow, somehow that spider. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm. <laughs> Alright. I'm not one for. I'm not one for, to try for, like, jump surprises or anything like that. If you've been sticking around, if you've been watching my, uh, my Let's Plays, then you know. I'm not really one for gold. I am one for gold, though. Oh, plus reward, sure. Um, I'm also not one for lockpicking. But uh, if you if you've watched if you've kept up with my channel, then you know I'm not one for like uh, how do I put it super over the top. Take that iron or can I get it? No, um, super over the top reactions. Kind of like I don't know. That's just not who I am. If that is if that's who you are and that's what you, how you do you your last place, then you be you. trap anyways so yes are you serious like you done yet guys or is this just a continuous <laughs> all right well we took care of that trying to avoid these pressure plates hey buddy Actually, the first time I've actually I've come in here. Take the gold, take the silver. Is there anything else? Wow, that's a uh, dark. To say the least. Take that metal, so we could sell that for more later. Iron ore, we can also grab out. Okay, iron ore we can transmute into gold. So. That scrap metal, sure. Got to carry weight right now. Expert, here we go. So I'm not one for jump, like you know, super over the top, hypey, kind of like loud reactions. You know. It here's my advice. If you're considering doing a YouTube channel, uh, a lot of times, you know, people just um, don't market yourself falsely. I'll just put it that way. Uh, I'd much rather have a smaller channel that represents who I am and represents, you know, 
accurately depicts me than have one that's huge than have a than have a well, maybe, yeah, than have a than have a larger channel that's um I don't want to say dishonest, but one that doesn't accurately represent who I am and how I how I play games. Because um, and this is actually something I, I watched a recent video on. Um, it really only hurts gamers if you if you depict gaming as always being like super hype, super uh, super energetic, super you know. Because most people you don't game like screaming at the TV, uh, you know that sort of thing. It, it gets YouTube it, it gets YouTube hits. It gets because people find it funny, they find it over the top, but it's not realistic to how people game. As a general rule, you're just, and this is one of the things that I kind of had to overcome, you kind of have to overcome with a, uh, with a YouTube channel, is you have to get used to actually talking while you, while you play, because that is something that you really, most people do not do when you play a game. Most of the time you are sitting there quietly in front of your computer, your TV, and that sort of thing, just chilling, right? And so to To act as though gaming is always like super over the top, just kind of hurts. Um, it just hurts the depiction of gaming that we get. This is how you end up with. Um, you can't go that way, so we must go this way. This is how you end up with like the the stereotypes of uh, you know like Call of Duty players who just like sc you know scream bloody murder at the at the television, that sort of thing. You, or like League of Legends or Dota or something like that, where people get super pissed. Like I understand being competitive. That's one thing. But being like, if that's who you are, then that's who you are. I'm fine with that. But if you're gonna create a huh? YouTube channel, create one that's accurate oh. to who you are. Oh, exactly. Lydia agrees with me. Uh, create one that's accurate to who you are. Create one that's accurate to how you play. And um, just go from there. All right, Lydia, come on. I'm just gonna be sitting here blocking. Lydia. Lydia. Pelts. Apparently Lydia is uh, freaking out. Also, our quest marker is freaking out a little bit. Sometimes this happens. Your quest marker, you uh, go through a, like a different, you go a different path. Like you go through another area to get to where you want to go, and it like doesn't update. So Alftand is actually like down below our feet. So we'll get to it. And that's the lift that we'll uh, we'll take back up. Actually. Um, so that's at the end of Alftan off before you get into Blackreach. So we've got this little expedition up here. You can see there's a bunch of frozen bodies up, up top. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a lovely place. Right. Buildings been cleared out. Yeah, there's a chest in here. Alright, expedition manifest. Yes. So you got a bunch of people here. Uh, they need more laborers. Uh, looks like a storm is coming, so that's why they all find out later they actually all went into the glacier. And of course, we all know. We all know how that turns out. We've seen enough of those Hollywood movies. Anyways, like I was talking about, if you're going to create a YouTube channel, create one that's accurate to how who you are, and accurate to how you play, that sort of thing. Um, because long term, it's just not su sustainable for you to put on this. It's almost putting on an act, putting on a show, if that's not really who you are. So it's just not sustainable long term. If you want to be a, a long term YouTuber, and, and trust me, I'm I'm learning this. I've only been YouTubing for for a little while, and there are days when I just I don't want to record. I just want to do my own thing. Um, if you want to do, if you want to create a channel that you're proud of, one that accurately represents who you are and what you do and how you uh, how you game, then create a channel based on your personality, not on the personality you think other people want to see. Um, obviously you want to make it appealing and fun to your viewers. I'm not saying don't do that, but Solid's Journal, I'm not saying you shouldn't make it appealing or fun to your viewers, but make it so that it, it's you appealing to them, not this idealized or this super hype version of you, I guess. Alright, so this expedition was set up by some people from Cyrodiil, I guess. Um, not the Mage's College or anything like that. 
Um, and we, as you can tell, things have gone uh, probably not according to plan, <laughs> given all the uh, blood spatter and everything. Um, yeah. Alright, there's loot over there, but no thank you. More blood spatter. Always a good sign. What is it? Yeah, I there's... know you were trying to keep it for yourself, Cesar. You always try to keep it for yourself. Yes. No, there's got to be more scoop. Shut up, shut up. Don't like me, Cesar. You hit it. Always try to keep it for yourself. So yes, one of the things that we encounter is a uh is a basically a Basically a Khajiit cokehead. Scoom it out, Khajiit. Yeah, it needs the stuff. And yeah. Anyways. So that's my encouragement. Uh no, not scoop. <laughs> um, that's my encouragement for uh, anyone who's aspiring to YouTube. Create something that you are something that represents you, something that you are proud of, something that you can sustain long term. Um Dwarves, follow up volume two. I'm gonna take that because I want to build up little uh, library on dwarves and the dwarmer. Research notes. Take those too, because it has some insights on the dwarmer. The dwarmer are just kind of like my, as you saw a couple, a uh, few episodes ago. They're just kind of my thing. They're the they're the mystery that I really, um, that I want to solve when it comes to when it comes to uh, the Elder Scroll. Yes. Yeah, so this is actually the exit of the dungeon right there. Um, so let's continue onwards. If you read the research notes, they um, they talk about how the uh, spiders are coming out of these little tubes, and so they blocked up this one with a table and some rocks and stuff. And there were some barrels there in front of this one, but he still exploded out. So I don't know, just neat little things like that. Okay, what shot do I have? Let's go ahead and get the fire breath shot ready. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that block. Such good blockage. Boom. Gold ore, we'll take that. Alright, and to the left. Another dead spider. Take this. Apothecary satchel. Dart wing. Should be... Yeah, there we go. Gold, 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 my gold, and somebody was hiding stuff from their uh, adventure mates. Where did we? We came from that way, right? I think. Didn't get that right. Oh no, I got it right. Nice job, Lydia. Nice job getting that last hit. So yeah, tell me your thoughts on you know, if you guys brother? are considering it. Another of the smooth schemes YouTube looking channel. for food. This one was attacked with us. Never I'm not a smooth skin. You're a tough kitty. Lydia, where, where are you? Sorry, buddy. that. Cure Poison. Uh, his brother, Jazar. Um, if you read Jazar's journal, he basically says that uh, he brought his brother up here. Uh, he brought Jadar up here to uh, try and get him off Skuma, basically, and try and take him down easy. But, obviously, didn't work. Um, makes the offhand comment that other people haven't noticed. Lots of. Um, he makes a comment that someone with a lot of fur shouldn't be shaking that much up here. In, shouldn't be shaking that much in the cold. And it's kind of the. Uh, it kind of gives away the fact that he's a. Uh, he's a drug addict. Shivering. Boom. Two spheres down. We don't need that solid Dwarmer metal, actually. That's a full 25 pounds. Let's go down and 
get rid of that. There we go. Ooh, so this is fun. Um, this is a fun little, fun little secret that maybe you don't know about. This, you can actually get up here. So let's see if we can't get it. This is a little uh, platforming puzzle that they put in here in Skyrim. We need to wait. Look at that. We've got a chest right here. Reserve strength. Iron ink, garment ingots. Healing potion. Another chest. We can leave that. And anything else. So there you go. A little secret. A little nifty secret that you, that you can find here on Skyrim. First time I found that, I thought it was pretty neat. A lot of fun. Good little Easter egg that you got there. I wish there were more of that in uh, the, the Dormer Ruins. Obviously, there are a lot of secrets in the Dormer Ruins, but I think it would be fun to have more of these. More of those platformer thingies. Couple punches. That one's down. Couple punches. That one's down. Search his buddies for he remains and you got a little uh, forge here actually. Interesting. Yeah. Alright. Well, nothing in that guy. Take that, take that, take that. Take it all. Nah. Yeah, okay. Um so yeah. Oh, let's loot him. Course, we need to get the loot that's in here. So yeah, I like all the I like the little stories, the little hidden elements, the little the little stuff that they put into to Skyrim. That's that's what I think makes an Elder Scroll game great. Uh, Fallout series as well, but I think that especially the Elder Scroll series, they do a much better job of just little Easter eggs, little hidden stuff here and there to make the world alive. That's what keeps me coming back. That sense of adventure, that sense of exploration, not knowing what's uh wow, that's really good actually. Um, not knowing what's uh what's on the other side. Not knowing what's what's the what's the next step, not knowing all the random stuff that can uh that can happen, that can occur. Alright. Even though I do know this, this dungeon pretty well. So here I am talking about randomness when I when I know this like the back of my hand. Um at least parts of it. Okay. There we go. Nice. Getting a lot of necklaces. So don't step on the pressure plate. Take the scrap metal. Um, we can take that for now. We haven't even loaded up Lydia. Although, this is a fairly long dungeon, I remember. So we might have to end up scrap, you know, dropping some of this stuff. But, that's a problem for future me. Present me wants to grab everything possible. Besides being in the problem of having too much loot, it's a very good problem to have. Let's go ahead and do a quick save, haven't done that a little bit, and if you're keen on hearing, you can hear that there's something moving behind this door. So it seems like we're probably going to have a fight on our hands. No. No. Ah. Alright. A little bit farther. There we are. I like how he completely ignores me and goes right for Lydia. Thanks for being a good meat shield, Lydia. Um, nope, not gonna take those. Here, vent stuff is good. And the chest is okay. 
Am I wearing a, an enchanted net necklace? I don't even know. I am. 40 extra points of health. Alright. Well, that's where actually where we're going to wrap up this episode. So we'll continue our adventures in Elfdand next time here on Additional Collins Games. Hit like and subscribe. Check out some of the other series going on on the channel. Connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Leave a comment below if you have anything to say. And tune in next time as we continue our search for the Elder Scrolls here on Additional Pylons Games.